Yep, this is Tom, the inventor in paradise. I'm right here next to my MGB engine looking down in it. You know, just like us, that engine has to breathe. <laughs> Unfortunately, when it breathes, it's got bad breath. This, uh, right where I'm pointing, is a, is a, a cap that is over the, the breather area. Inside of that cover is uh, some uh, wire mesh type material that kind of contains the oil from getting up in it as it's trying to get a breath of air. It comes up, the air comes up through this tube, and then uh, usually you have your mission control plumbed into it. Now, there's several problems regarding this video here. Uh, I'm going to try to bring to your attention. Number one, that bolt that holds that uh, cap in there is so darn long. I don't know if I can get the, cap, get the light down on it better. I'll show you a blow up of it. But uh, it's so difficult to get at that bolt down that bolt head down there and you got to retrieve it out and kind of tip the cover a little bit and have a mindset that everything has to drop down you can't take it off going up <laughs> very difficult you loosen the cap tip it on the downward angle slide the bolt out that gets rid of the bolt length because if you don't take the bolt out first it just extends so far that there just isn't room for you to uh, manipulate the whole thing uh, between the black and the uh, exhaust manifold. It's just too tight. So get the bolt out. Uh, the cover usually pops right off. Just give it a little nudge. It's hardly ever sealed too tightly on there. And what is disappointing to me is that sometimes I run into this situation where they have a rubber gasket underneath it. A rubber seal that really doesn't conform to the entrance in that black. I'm going to put another photo up, enlargement, that you'll see the lower corner area uh, of that seal hardly even covers the, covers the black at all. And I was getting a slight breath of stink out of that thing for a long time until I finally discovered that this mechanic who had refurbished this car... Uh, I think he put either the wrong gasket on or he certainly made a poor selection because the gasket, as you see how dark it is in the corner, the lower portion there, uh, it, it, just, it just wasn't sealing on any surface area. Maybe it's the fault of the gasket manufacturers. I went and ordered a new rubber gasket and that gasket is not shaped to cover the surface that it's intended to. Now, I got upset over that, and I made a cork gasket, and then I have a picture of that I will show where I traced the outline of the cover and provided much more surface area for the cork to uh, nestle against the black. Then I ordered a couple from uh, Victoria British, and when they came, the cork ones were right, and I could have purchased them and put them on had I known, but I went by what was on the engine in the first place, the rubber one. Hey, another fault with the rubber one. It makes the cover stand out so far, and you got that single bolt in the center. A muscular guy puts a wrench on that, and this picture shows you. You can actually collapse that cover a little bit, dimple it in. Well, that's not good. You know, that's a little too much strength on the wrench. You, you don't want to do that. That is almost like the valve cover uh uh, the valve cover on top there. You know, some of those other valve covers, they aren't as nice as the one I got. I got a heavy heavy uh, aluminum one here. Some are kind of tinny, and you draw down, and you can, you can dimple them a little bit. And worse than that, they're so far from the ceiling area. I'll do another video on that regarding that cover. It's a stinker to get the, to stop the leak at. Well, down here, you had to fiddle with that vent cover and finally get it set. <laughs> Now, another video will continue on from there on the hose line to what I put on as my emission control. This is going to be quite exciting because this emission control is a real big problem. And a lot of MGs have a stinky smell to them. you got to get rid of that. And I've tried various things, and I think I've found an answer. So, you shall see. That will come up uh, shortly. Okay, I'll be back. 